If I were to summarize 2020 in just a few words, it would be it was a horrible year. <sighs> horrible. 2020 was an explosive year. The tornadoes came through Nashville last March. I was cowering in my basement. We get in the car and we go to the farmer's market and there are really already hundreds of people there huddled with their children and their pets who've just come down from Germantown. You felt like you were walking in a World War II photograph of bomb damage. And already it was clear that at least some people had been killed. COVID itself, the virus, obviously has created all kinds of uh, crises. I put an ungodly amount of people in body bags that, uh, that I wasn't prepared to do. When you have a pandemic that in some cases was killing black people at 10 times the rate of white people, and also for Hispanics as well, then you have to wonder, uh, do our lives matter? George Floyd. George Floyd. George Floyd. When George Floyd was murdered by police, for many of us, it was yet another example. Having to, to see it on camera, how the life was snuffed out of, of someone, I think made everybody mad, not just blacks, but especially the African-American community, to be able to say, this is what we've been talking about. We don't get the same treatment. The first debate in 2020 between Trump and Biden was a bit ridiculous. Not a whole lot of civil discourse. Supreme Court Justice, the radical question, left. Will you who shut is up, your, man? Listen, who? It was the last chance for, for our citizens to see these two candidates for the, for the highest office in the land square off and share their ideas uh, opposed to one another. My phone was ringing, ringing, and finally I, I answered it. and. Uh, one of my best friends, he said, you know, there was bombing downtown. People were screaming, running outside. We crawled, we stumbled, we rallied, and we collaborated. And people have, by and large, pulled together. So how did we get here? How did we get here? How did we get here? 